going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today, I might be discussing my favorite film of this year, and that film is called The Favorite. No pun intended, I really was looking forward to this film. One of the reasons being, you have Olivia Coleman, you have Rachel Weisz, you have Emma Stone, and it's directed by Yorgos Lenthimos. I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong, but I do have to mention the guy. If you don't know who this guy is, he's directed The Lobster and Killing of a Sacred Deer. Two films that most notably I loved, and I've really loved each and every directorial effort that the guy has done. Every time this guy makes something, I have to be there first day. Just one of the reasons being is he is a very talented director, and he just gets these films perfectly. He's so creative and imaginative when it comes to making the films, and The Favorite is no different. The Favorite, again, it might be my favorite film of this year. In fact, it is my favorite film of this year, and I really do mean that with no pun intended. I love this film. I, I, I was just mesmerized and captivated by every single scene and layer that Yorgos put into this film. And a lot of it is elevated by the elegant but bombarding score. One of the big questions is, what is the favorite about? Well, the favorite, it takes place in early 18th century England, where a frail Queen Anne, played by Coleman, are, occupies the throne, and her close friend Lady Sarah, played by Weiss, governs the country in her stead. When a new servant, Abigail, played by Emma Stone, armandeers her to Sarah. Now, this was a film that I didn't know much going into. I, I stayed away from the trailers. I really just knew the synopsis. I knew who was in it. I knew who was directing it. I didn't want to know anything about it. So I am going to stay a little bit vague on this review because I want you guys to go into this film not knowing anything and just kind of feel the same way that I felt. I, I Seriously, when I say the word mesmerizing, that is like... There's so many words I could go about, but that is the easiest way to describe this film is I was just mesmerized, not just by the cinematography that is just outstanding and every single scene in here just seems like it's painted onto a canvas where you're just sitting there ooing and aahing at all the beautiful lights and the way that he just moves the camera in here is so elegant and so unique and different. This is really his stamp, his style of directing that you feel within the favorite. Really the great performances in here are all just wonderful. One of the reasons being Olivia Coleman steals the show. A lot of the time due to the fact of just the strong script that she got and the way that she was able to chew the dialogue out and just spit it out onto the screen and just portray it perfectly. But really Rachel Weiss and Emma Stone are really both competitive for Best Supporting Actress this year. They're both superb. Everyone really in here does such a great job in here doing the character that they're supposed to play and really transforming into these characters. This is one of the first roles where I didn't just see Emma Stone. I saw the character that she was playing. Same goes to Rachel Weisz and Olivia as Corpse. You just see their characters. You don't, you forget that they're actors. And that's something, again, that Yorgos does so well with the film is that making you feel like you're there. And again, that goes to his camera angles, that goes to the unique way that he shoots the film, and it goes to the unique dialogue and the script and story that is being told. There's not one point in time where I felt like the story was predictable. I didn't know where it was going. My jaw dropped. My jaw was on the floor. My eyes were big and wide when certain things came to revelation. And that is what this film does so well. Adding in the bombarded but most elegant and superb score into here, that is what makes The Favorite my favorite film of this year. I love this film. It's going to be so hard to bump this from the top of my list now. I, I really had expectations set super high for this film, and it just exceeded them by so many revelations. I'm going to be thinking about this film for so long, and I definitely am going to go see this in theaters the second it comes out. So with all that said, I'm going to give The Favorite an A+. Absolutely love this film. This is Yorgos' best film to date. I seriously mean that, like overly tops any film the guy's done before strong script great score great directing great performances everything in here was just my favorite let me guys what are you guys thoughts on the favorite do you guys like this film do you not do you like these two films let's talk about it down below in the comments of course if you guys are new here make sure to hit up sandwich on films also down below because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie scenes you can check out some movie news and even some movie reviews but guys of course until next time stay classy we